of today's trip is to learn the culture of Chengdu. Oh, look at that pattern. It's almost everywhere. It's set to happen on Earth in 2001 at the Jingsha site. Let's decode Chengdu from here. Jingsha, it means gold sand in Chinese. But is it gold? You can literally find gulch gold in the riverbed here. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? I'm from the capital of Shu Kingdom. Hold on. Located in the Sichuan Basin, the Shu Kingdom was known for its wealth, culture, and military power. It was an important center of civilization in early China. We're skilled metal workers, potters, and weavers. Don't talk back. Show me what you can do. This is the sun and immortal bird gold ornament. Its center part represents the sun with four divine birds flying around. You made that? No way. How dare you doubt the accomplishments of our people? Sorry if I offended, but it's like one-fifth of a millimeter thick. How did you make it? We hot forge gold, then hammer it into thin sheets before cutting patterns. Usually, we attach it to the surface of the sacrificial object to worship the sun and pray for good weather and peace. See the 12 rays of the sun? They represent the 12 months. And the four birds stand for the four seasons. But why are the sun and birds moving in opposite directions? It means the circle of life ever spinning on with yin and yang embracing each other. It illustrates our view of the entire universe. No wonder it's not only the symbol of Chengdu, but also the logo of China Cultural Heritage. China Cultural Heritage? What is that? It refers to the historical, artistic, and traditional practices and artifacts that are of cultural significance in China. Our sacred birds will always bless the divine land of China. think we're still at the Jingsha site that makes do of us. But here has a much longer history. Welcome to the San Qingdui site. Xingdui means three starred mounds because the shape and distribution of the mounds are like scattered stars. One of the key contributors to the first scientific excavation of the San Xingdui site was David Crockett Graham, an American archaeologist who participated in the early excavation led by the Chinese government. Good to be here again! How's the excavation going? Hello, Mr. Graham. We've made a lot of fascinating discoveries since your time here. Really? What have you found that I didn't? Well, in 1986, two pits were found just 600 meters away from where you dug, and more than 1,000 valuable relics were unearthed, including a four-meter-high bronze sacred tree with legendary bronze phoenix on it. I was just 600 meters away? Your contribution will always be appreciated and remembered. So far, the excavation of the San Qingdui site is just 0.2% of the whole area. Once it is fully excavated, it will totally amaze the world! From Jingsha to the San Qingdui site, we're getting closer and closer to the original civilization of Chengdu. So, who were its masters even earlier? They told me the answer is right here. In 1995, eight Asian cities have been discovered here dating back 4,500 years ago. They're named Baodu, meaning hills with treasures. But where are the treasures?
What amazed me the most here is not the shining gold or huge elephant tusks, but a carbonized grain of rice, which proves that Baoduin was probably one of the birthplaces of Chengdu's rice civilization. Who are you? I'm from the future. I'm here to learn about your culture. I see. We're having dinner. Wow, smelled so good. Do you eat rice every day? Yes, we grow rice and raise animals for food. You notice our pigs die in garden outside my house. We no longer need to hunt, fish, or seek edible herbs in the wild. I never thought that our agriculture and husbandry were so advanced four thousand years ago. Look at that! Is it a bug pot? Yes. Guess why? We can have hot pot in it. Living in a city with thousands of years of civilization is a really cool thing. I'm falling in love with this lovely city. There must be more and more surprises waiting for me. Laima, the whole process. So, where to go next?